world. 1 Timothy chapter 4, look at verse number 12. The Bible reads, Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation. We need to hold ourselves to a standard where we are the example of, to, uh, to all the believers of how a believer should act and behave in the things that you speak, in your conversation, in your manners. It says in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. If you're pure, you'll keep a pure mind. You keep yourself uh, pure from the, from the wickedness. and the sin. You don't need to learn about all the sin and all the filth. We don't need you. Know, the Bible says to be, um, to be simple concerning that which is evil. We don't need to have a great understanding of this. You don't need to study wickedness in order to reprove it or in order to help people out with it. You don't need to know all about the depth. You know, I've heard this criticism from people in the past of, oh, how do you think you're going to be able to help some, you know, someone who's strung out on drugs or anything else if you haven't done it before? And that's why a lot of people who are coming out of addiction think that they are the only ones that are going to be able to help someone else out because that, well, I've been through it. It's fine if you want to help people out, but don't think that you have to have all of the knowledge of sin in order to help people to understand, hey, it's wickedness and it's bad and you need to just cut it out of your life. We have too many crutches and too many people trying to, to you know, getting coddled and baby when they need to just man up and, and deal with their issues and just deal with it. Look, I used to have issues myself with, with substances and with, with cigarettes and things, but when it came time to dropping it, I stopped doing it. And I'm not some superhuman person. It's just something that you have to decide to do. So if you're involved in any type of addiction, you have to be able to just say, I'm not going to do this anymore. You don't need to have everyone saying, oh, I understand how hard it is, and, you know, and giving you all these excuses as to why it's going to be so easy to go right back into doing it again. In the, in the AA and NA, they always tell the people, look, you know, 95% of the people that go through the program are going to go right back into drugs. You're, you're setting them up for failure right from the beginning. You say, oh, we're just being honest with them, telling the truth. Look, you're not encouraging them whatsoever. You say, look, you need to get this crap out of your life and be done with it and not even look back and move forward. And you can help people through that, whether or not you have all of the knowledge of being deep into sin or not. You don't have to have that knowledge. The Bible gives us all the knowledge that we need about sin in order to avoid it. Whatever the sin is, it doesn't matter what the sin is, we have enough knowledge and wisdom in the pages of this book. Preach against alcohol because you've never been drunk before. You don't need to be drunk. You could read Proverbs 23 and understand, hey, this is the effects of drinking alcohol. Your eyes shall behold strange women. Your heart's going to utter perverse things. I believe God's word. It's the truth. And that is what's going to happen. You don't need to have experienced that to say, yep, that's true. Yep, that's true 100% because the Bible says so. And that's all you need to know. You need to be able to tell people that. Look at what this is doing to your life. Stop doing it. Get, get it out. Get right with God.